Who and why? Those are the questions investigators are desperate to answer as they comb through the debris field, gathering clues that might answer who was responsible for the bomb planted in the middle of New York City and what their motivation was. The governor and mayor toured the area, trying to calm fears of residents in the affluent Chelsea neighborhood where the bomb exploded. They cautioned it might take time, as there are many unanswered questions. We have a lot more work to do to be able to say what kind of motivation was behind this. Was it a political motivation, a personal motivation? What was it? We do not know that yet. Closed circuit camera footage showed the power of the blast that left moments of panic with people running through the streets to safety. Investigators are trying to determine if two other bombs, one a few blocks away that failed to detonate, and another earlier on Saturday in neighboring state of New Jersey, are at all connected. Whoever placed these bombs, we will find, and they will be brought to justice, period. New Yorkers are accustomed to their city being a target, many here relieved, that officials said it does not appear to be the work of international terrorist groups, but still wondering who was the culprit. There are bombs happening all over the place right now, so I'm thankful no one got hurt, but it's like, you know, we may learn that this was just, you know, some kid with a pipe bomb. So I don't want to make this more than it maybe really is. While others just growing tired, living in a city always a potential target. That's what upsets me the most that New York is always targeted. It's enough. I was born here. I've been all around the world. Enough is enough. This is 23rd Street, normally a busy thoroughfare here in the Chelsea neighborhood. But as you can see, it's blocked off to vehicles. Only pedestrians can pass by. That's because the street is still remains blocked off as FBI investigators and police continue to look at the crime scene to try to figure out what happened. In the rest of the city, life is returning back to normal, with one big exception. A larger-than-normal presence of heavily armed police stand guard in major transit hubs in the city, part of 1,000 extra officers and National Guard deployed to the streets in the wake of the bombing. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.